Hey, this is Jerry from Blitz Studio, and in this particular tutorial of the base game tutorial series, I'm gonna work on downloading a character and character animations from Mixamo and bringing those into Unity and getting that all set up. And if you're ready to get started, let's go. Okay, so here we're back in Unity, and we have our Unity editor all set up with Playmaker, all of the windows arranged like we need them for setting up a base of a mobile game. Now, let's go ahead and let's install a character. Now, the way I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna go ahead and go over to Mixamo. And Mixamo is a great way for you to import already existing characters, or you can actually create your own character, upload it to Mixamo, and then have animations already set up for your character. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and start this mobile game out with a kind of stacking type game. And so I want to have a character that's running that looks like they're carrying something. Okay, so before I do that, before I set up the animations, I want to go ahead and choose a character. So there's default robots you can use, or if you click on the characters tab, then you can see all kinds of different characters that you can choose from. I'm going to go ahead and choose Michelle here and use this character. And now you can see I have the Michelle character. Now I can go ahead and choose animations. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the animations tab. And then we can see the different types of animations. Now, anytime I click on one of these, animations it's going to animate that character with using that animation now what i want to do is i want to find something that looks like she is car carrying something so let's go ahead and just type in carry so we have some different animations that look like they're carrying now i want this to be kind of a stacker game where the character is running and carrying something at the same time so there's several different instances of that so we've got this running one and we can see what that looks like. And then there's also this jogging. And I kind of like that just a little bit better because she has a little more of a bounce. Now let's go ahead and choose in place. That way the character is in the position that we want them to. We're gonna move the character with Playmaker versus just having the animation move the character. So we can play with this character for stride length and the character arm space. So we can change a lot of different features with this, but I'm gonna go ahead and just leave it as it is. Now, we need to go ahead and download this. So I'm gonna click download, and we've got some options here. So we've got what type of format do we want the skin? So the skin is the colors and the materials of the character. Do we wanna reduce the frame rate? So I'm gonna go ahead and choose 24 frames a second versus 30 frames a second because I'm kind of focused on mobile. And then for the format, we're gonna go ahead and leave this as FBX, but we wanna have this be FBX for Unity. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click download. So it's gonna download both the character and the animations for the character in one package. Now, before we go back to Unity to import our character, I wanna also have something that if the character trips on something and falls, I need to have a fall animation. So let's go ahead and choose that as well. So I'm just gonna type in fall in the search. And here we go, we've got some different fall animations and we kind of see what those might look like. And I'm gonna go ahead and just choose this fall flat. So let's go ahead and click on that. And you can see what the character looks like when they're falling. So let's go ahead and download that one as well. Now this one, I don't need the skin because I already have the skin as part of the, the original animation that I downloaded. So let's go ahead and choose without skin. I wanna go ahead and stay with the 24 frames a second, FBX for Unity, and that's good. So let's go ahead and click download. And then the other thing that I wanna do is some type of uh, celebration. Once the character gets to the end of the level, we need to find some type of uh, animation. Since this is gonna be a stacker game, maybe they do something at the end where they can kind of kick the stack and it goes flying. So I've typed in trip. And I wanna go ahead and go down to the bottom and I kinda of like this run to flip. Let's try that one, see what that looks like. Yeah, I'm kinda of digging that. So maybe like the kick off of whatever the they're holding, the stack of whatever they're holding and that stuff goes flying to then give us some kind of bonus score. So let's go ahead and download this particular one as well. Again, without skin because I've already downloaded that. So let's go ahead and hit download. And now I can go ahead and then bring those into Unity. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and install my characters. So the characters that I downloaded. 
Let's go ahead and select those. I'm gonna drag those into my models folder. And here we go. So let's go ahead and, and take the first one, which is the jogging. That's kind of our base character. I'm gonna drag that into my project and you can see that I don't have the materials. So what I need to do is I need to go ahead and with the character selected over in the project window, then I'm gonna to go to the inspector and by default, you'll be on the model tab, but I'm gonna go ahead and go to the materials tab and I'm gonna use the, where it says location, let's change this to use external materials. I'm gonna go ahead and click apply. And this is gonna take just a few minutes for it to convert all these materials. So you'll see that there's a new materials folder created. There's also gonna be another folder that's created that's going to have the actual textures in it. And we also need to set up the material creation as standard legacy and click apply. Then once you've done that, you can go ahead and then change back to use embedded materials, click apply. And there, then we're going to take the materials that was created, the folder that was there. We're gonna take that and add that into the body, hit apply. Then it's going to import all of the artwork assets. Cool, so now we have this extra folder that has all of the artwork. So let's go ahead and go into the material and you'll see that we've got options for the base map. So we're gonna go ahead and take the diffuse artwork, drag it into our base map little window right there. And now the character has the artwork back applied. Then there's also a glossiness, a normal map and a specular map. I'm gonna go ahead and just use the normal map and we'll go ahead and drop that into the normal map as well. I'm also gonna change the workflow from metallic to specular. And then I also want to take the smoothness down so that the character's not shiny. And I think that works pretty good. So we have our character all set up. So now that we've done that, we need to go ahead, we need to extract the animations from the characters as well. So here are the animations. So if we open these folders up, you'll see that here's fall flat, jogging with box and return to flip. So I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate. So I'm gonna select all three of those animations. So it's the little icon with the little triangle on it. I'm gonna go ahead and hit Command D or Control D. And that duplicates those files. Now I'm gonna go ahead and create a folder that's called animations. So new folder and animations. And then I'm gonna take those three animations and just drag those into that animations folder. Now our character, if we hit play, it's not gonna animate just yet. So we need to actually hook up those animations. So our character is just standing there. So let's go ahead and take our character and I'm gonna add an animator component. So we're gonna click on add component and, and you can type in animator. So we've added an animator component, but we haven't created an animator just yet. So let's do this. I'm gonna go into my animations folder. So I'm gonna create an animator controller, okay? And then I'm gonna call this player animator. And then I'm gonna go ahead and if I have that selected, you can see here is the animator window. Again, I've docked that down at the bottom so I can always have it there available to me. All I need to do is drag each of these animations into this window. So now we have these set up. Now, the run to flip is not the animation that I wanna start off with. I wanna go ahead and start off with the jog with a box. So let's go ahead and just rearrange these just a little bit. I'm gonna select the animation of jogging with box and set that as the default state. So when the game starts, we're immediately gonna go into this animation. If I hit play right now, our character's still not gonna animate. So what we need to do is we need to go ahead and in the animator, drag the player animator into the controller window. And now if I hit play, our character's now running, cool. Now it's not gonna be looping, so we need to go ahead and go back to our jogging with box animation and have loop time selected. Now if I hit play, my character will continually run. Cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up the rest of these animations at another time. I wanna make sure that my character is in the right spot. 
The other thing that I'm going to do is go ahead and create an empty game object, and we'll call this player. And I'm going to set this at a position of 0, 0, 0. So that's going to be 0, 0, 0 in our scene. I'm going to drag the character model into that game object. And then I'm also going to make sure that's at 0, 0, 0. And then, of course, we need to go ahead and set up our scene. So the, currently, the camera is in a different spot. And what I want to do is I want to have that character behind the player because we want to have this be a runner, skateboard. We want to have the player set up for that type of game. So what I'm going to do is to go ahead and move around the character. And I need to figure out exactly where I want the character to be, what angle that I want it to be. So let's just have it be something like this. We're going to have it kind of be down towards the bottom of the screen. They're right behind axis view. And with that, with that view all set up in my scene, I'm going to select my camera, hit Command Shift F or Control Shift F. And now we've switched our camera to be exactly where we need it to be. Cool. So we now have the base character set up. So let's go ahead and hit play and see how this looks. Oh yeah, perfect. That's exactly what we need. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you can use this information on your next project. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that little bell icon down there so you know when the next tutorial is available. Until next time, peace.